Hi everyone, my name is Fett. I'm an independent producer and recording engineer at the Azalea Music Group in Nashville, home of Azalea Studios. And you're watching Taxi Tech Tips. These are recording tips that you can use at home and elsewhere. Enjoy the tip and you can get some more information about us at the end of the video. Hi everybody, I'm sitting in the lounge here at Azalea Studios in Nashville. And I just finished up a session and I was having a conversation about studio mics with somebody at the session. And so I decided I'd sit down today and talk a little bit about microphones. And I get a lot of questions from people about what microphones to use in the studio. And most people are really surprised when I give them my answer because I usually don't recommend uh, necessarily all the well-known microphone names. And I also very rarely recommend anything that's high priced. I'm a big fan of cheap microphones and there's been quite a revolution over the last 10 years or so uh, in the microphone market where you can get really inexpensive mics that have very, very good sound quality. Uh, they may not necessarily have all of the features of some of the more expensive versions, but they definitely sound good. So what I'd like to do here, I've got some microphones in front of me and I'd just like to run through each of them, talk about each mic a little bit and maybe why I recommend it and hopefully it'll give you uh, some good mics to start with if you don't have enough of them already in your own home studio or you just want to augment what you've already got. I guess the first thing a lot of people ask me is well can I use my live microphones in the studio and the answer of course is yes there are absolutely no rules about microphones and two microphones that of course are uh, very well known staples and are certainly usable in the studio are the two dynamic mics uh, from Shure, the SM58 here, which is typically referred to as a vocal mic. That's about uh, 89 to $99. Uh, and then its cousin, the SM57, which is typically referred to as an instrumental mic. It's also in the same 89 to $99 range. But they are both usable interchangeably on vocals and instruments, uh, depending on how they sound to you. And that's probably my biggest point uh, I'd like to make here, in addition to talking about some specific models. And that is, don't worry too much about the price of the item or the brand name. The thing you really want to focus on is, first of all, the sound of the microphone, how it sounds for the application that you're using it for, and then secondly, what the functions or the features of the microphone are. Other than that, it's, uh, it's strictly a matter of taste, and there, again, there are no specific rules, uh, but don't get hung up on brand names and prices. The next mic I'd like to talk about is a real workhorse. Uh, this one is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. It's the Audio-Technica 4033. Its, its model number is technically the AT4033 slash CL. The 4033 it's referred to. This mic's about 20 years old and it's a real studio staple all around the world. Uh, it costs about 349 bucks, which is a little on the high end, believe it or not, for mics of this type nowadays. Um, but it, it works on just about everything. Vocals, guitars, percussion, horns, all sorts of things. It also has two features on it. It's got a, a low cut here to cut, on, uh, cut back on your lower frequencies. And it's also got a pad on it if you need to attenuate the mic at the source if it's, uh, if it's too loud there. But great microphone, about 349 Now, recently, over the last couple of years, Audio Technica came up with a little cousin uh, of the AT4033 uh, that I really like, and this is the AT2020. Uh, it sounds very, very similar to a 4033, but it's only 99 bucks typically on the street. Uh, it doesn't have any switches or any special features. It's a, a cardioid uh, pickup pattern, just like the 4033 is. It doesn't have a pad or a roll up, but it sounds really good on a lot of applications. And for 99 bucks, it's pretty hard to beat. There's also a USB model, uh, the AT2020 USB, which is about $50 more, uh, which you can plug straight into your computer for podcasting and that kind of thing. So that's a really nice, no frills, uh, inexpensive, large diaphragm condenser mic. So now we're going to move up both the price and the feature categories a little bit. This is one of my all-time favorite mics. Uh, I use it on a lot of different things, particularly on electric guitar cabinets in conjunction with a Shure SM57. It's a great sounding mic. It's a large diaphragm condenser, and uh, it's probably its biggest feature is the fact that it's got multiple polar patterns on it, multiple pickup patterns. Uh, it does a standard cardioid pattern. It also does the omni pattern, but it also has figure eight as well because it's actually got two diaphragms in it. It's got a three-position roll-off switch on the back and also a pad. 
It's about $799, so it's not a super cheap mic, um, but it's really, really built ruggedly and very flex flexible. If you want something, uh, maybe not as many features and a little bit less price, but very similar sound, the KSM-32, by the way, this is the KSM-44. The KSM-32 is about $300 less, right around $499, uh, and it doesn't have the multiple polar patterns. Uh, but they're really great mics. I'm showing this one in its shock mount today specifically to show uh, how great the shock mount is. It's one of the best in the business, and it actually comes with the microphone. It's just really, really well built. Uh, if you've listened to any of my uh, lectures or any of the other talks I do about gear, I'm sure you've heard me mention my granddaddy of them all, my absolute favorite microphone in the world right now for the money, uh, and that's the MXL V69 Mogami Edition, uh, typically just referred to as the V69. Uh, this is a no-frills tube mic. This is a, a large diaphragm condenser, but it's a tube mic. It's got a very, very warm sound and a lot of top-end air on it. Uh, I use it particularly for both male and female vocals and also as a room mic on electric guitars. Uh, it's a wonderful microphone and it, it goes for about $299 on the street. Lately I've been seeing it going for as little as $249. Uh, it comes in a really nice case with all the hardware and power supply and everything else. But the V69 to me is a fantastic microphone for the money. And I've done a shootout. Uh, when I was a magazine editor, I did a shootout with this microphone and 12 other mics that range from about $89 up to $5,000. Uh, and in a blind test, it blew all the rest of them away. So a uh, big, big fan of the V69 from MXL. And I recommend this to just about anyone who's looking for a really good vocal mic for the price. Another mic that I'm really extremely pleased with is the SE-1A. This is a small diaphragm condenser microphone, uh, better known as a pencil mic because of its shape. Uh, again, it's a no-frills microphone. It's just got a single cardioid pattern, uh, no fancy switches or anything like that, but it sounds absolutely fantastic on stringed instruments, particularly guitars, of course, but it works equally well on dobro, on mandolin, 12-string, anything like that. Uh, these go for about $169 a piece. You can get a matched pair in a nice uh, cherry box for about $399, but they sound like mics that are literally 10 times the price. They're absolutely fantastic mics uh, from SE Electronics, the SE1A. Um, we've talked about uh, two basic kinds of microphones today. First of all, we mentioned the dynamic microphone, which was the two uh, first Shure mics I showed, the SM58 and the SM57. Uh, in the middle, we showed a whole bunch of condenser microphones, uh, large diaphragm condensers in particular, except for the last one, which was a small diaphragm. But there's a third kind of microphone that's actually a hybrid of the dynamic mic. Uh, that's becoming very, very popular again, and that's a ribbon microphone. Uh, and instead of having a large moving coil uh, magnet inside of it, it's actually got a thin film uh, of metal inside the magnet, uh, in between the poles of the magnet. Very, very uh, sensitive microphone, great for horns and things like that. Uh, the one I discovered recently, because these things can be very expensive, was the Apex 210. Uh, from Apex Electronics, that's A-P-E-X. It's a really, really good um, uh, ribbon microphone, especially for like uh, smoky, jazzy vocals, that kind of thing. And it's only about $169, which is absolutely fantastic. The, about the only thing I don't like about it is you can't disconnect the power cord, but as far as functionality and, uh, and sound goes, it's pretty hard to beat a mic like this uh, for the price. By the way, I am not affiliated in any way with any of the companies that I've mentioned here. Uh, I just happen to love these mics. I have personal experience with every one of them, so I felt really comfortable in recommending them. Uh, they are uh, part of my go-to collection of mics. I have a lot of other mics that I use from a lot of other companies and a lot that are very expensive. Uh, but if you're looking for something really practical and, and very reasonably priced, uh, you really can't go wrong with these microphones. So have fun recording, and I'll look for you again with another tip soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Taxi Tech tip. There are plenty more, so check back often. And you can also get a hold of us at www.azaleamusic.com. That's A-Z-A-L-E-A music.com. Or you can email me personally at studios at azaleamusic.com. And we'd be happy to provide any sort of production, recording, mixing, mastering, or other services you might need. So check us out. I look forward to hearing from you. Mm -hmm.